So let's talk about culture. Uh, Peter Drucker, the, the business savant, has this famous quote, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Well, in 2020 and 2021, uh, the EMP tech culture skipped breakfast. Uh, if, if the cultural adoption of tech is kind of the underpinning of successful uh, application uh, of tech within oil and gas companies, then the tech culture imploded in 2020 and 21. Uh, and we all know this. Uh, there were material staff cuts. The tech stacks were cut in half or more. Uh, partly as cost savings, partly the, in some cases they didn't have anybody to run, run the tech. And then it became a catch-22. Uh, for the remaining staff that you had, multiple people were wearing multiple hats. Uh, and so they weren't serving any job role fully uh, for, for what remained of the tech stack. In many cases, they weren't familiar with uh, new tech to themselves that they inherited that were still part of the corporate tech stack and uh, didn't even have a chance to, to use it properly, learn it properly, benefit from it. So it was kind of, again, no man's land with respect to the, uh, the practical application of the remaining tech within oil and gas. As well, there was a loss of champions. Um, within any EMP company, uh, champions emerge from various um, origins. They could be from uh, IT, from the tech side of things. They could be, uh, you know, subject matter experts in, in relative uh, disciplines like, you know, completions or like drilling or, or, or land, things like that. Uh, they could be somebody that's more of a generalist. And in many companies, uh, as they evolved into their use of tech uh, over the last six, seven years, um, that was largely brought about in many cases by champions within companies advocating certain thought processes, certain uh, technologies, certain methodologies. And those roles in many cases were a cost, uh, a, a, you know, they were overhead, they were a cost. And so they were disproportionately lost during the downturn. And so with the loss of champions, it was hard to maintain that cultural continuity. Um, and then finally, um, one thing that emerged was, hey, companies aren't worried about what's under the hood, they're worried about the result. And so uh, far less time spent on, on operating tech to the extent that the tech was hands-on and more worried about you know, what to tell me, what's the bottom line decision, what's the, the, the simple fundamental outcome, um, kind of the 80% the answer. And so uh, natural reaction to uh, the loss of staff and, and kind of the bottom line focus that we saw during, the, during that time period.